Hi there! Here's how to add the CAS experience to your portfolio. First, log in to Manage Back. Once you're inside, check that it's you and not some alternative version of you, like an identity thief or avatar. Roll over and click the DP button, then choose the CAS option. What you get now is called your dashboard. You will control your CAS program from here, so make sure you're in full control and nothing here is accidental. To add an activity, click on the Add Activity button. What you get is a form with a range of questions. To fill these in the right way, you may have to prepare them before or during this process. Personally, I would go over to the CAS catalog which you can download from the CAS blog. For this tutorial, I will add the very first activity in the list, the project with the Alsenberg Refugee Center. I am now copying and pasting the activity title in. I'm not sure whether I will make this my CAS project, so I'll leave this box unticked for the moment. I'll now set the dates for the activity. Setting the wrong dates make your portfolio look very unprofessional, so consider how long you will be engaged. You can edit this activity description later to make it correspond to what actually happened. I am now copying the text from the catalog into an empty Word document. You may be wondering, why is he taking so much time to do this? The answer is simple. ManageBack is the official place to gather evidence for the completion of CAS, and therefore the IB. If you do a sloppy job at registering what you do, it will have a negative impact on your portfolio's evaluation by the professionals of the CAS team. In other words, being a little bit nerdy pays off. Here's what I have in the end, read out by my lovely assistant at Google. The activity involves exploring the social, cultural, political, ethical and humanitarian issues faced by asylum seekers and refugees in Belgium and beyond. We will plan ways to meet the needs of the centre and the refugees, as well as support the centre in practical ways. We will be meeting with the Red Cross both in school. Next, I have prepared a personal goal. My goal is set according to the expectations for goal setting for CAS. Here it comes. My goal is to participate in four specific actions that make a difference either for individual refugees or families or for the center by the end of the year. This part makes the goal time bound because it has a deadline. I also want to find out two ways, this is a specific number, in which someone like me can be doing meaningful service in relation to the migration crisis and briefly reflect on these in writing. I could have been even more specific and said in writing about 300 words for each reflection. I am now copy pasting these pieces of text into the relevant boxes. By setting up an activity like this, evaluators of the IB and the CAS team of professionals will know that I'm doing a high quality CAS program. In other words, it shows that I'm not kidding and I'm not faking it. My supervisor shall be Mr. Alan Mitchell, who is a teacher. His email is in your Outlook address. ManageBack now asks me to set myself the learning outcomes. At this stage, you should make intelligent guesses about what you will learn. So let's see which goal could this activity be relevant for. I may understand something about the global nature of the refugee crisis. I may run into ethical dilemmas around how to help others who are less privileged than myself. I certainly will have to stay committed and I can expect my awareness of this issue to broaden. I will probably be challenged and it will probably be challenging to communicate with the refugees and I'm definitely going to collaborate with others in the team. Finally, I may use my sense of initiative to organize an activity during the process. Once you fill the form, hit the Add Activity button. However, if you see the same window, then something has gone wrong. Apparently, I've skipped an option that must be checked. There it is, the location. This project will be out of school, more than in school. At least, this is how I would like it to be. That's my personal goal. I want to meet these people and not just send off packages. If you click the Add Activity button again, you get a new entry in your portfolio. By clicking the activity title in the list, you can see what you have communicated with your CAS advisor and CAS coordinator. The activity is described, the goal is set, the learning outcomes indicated, and the supervisor is publicly announced. Later on, when you have done some actions, you can add photos, 
videos, web pages, and written reflections by clicking on reflections and evidence. If you have an activity that is already on the way and you feel you could make the description stronger, you click on the item to open up the settings. Find the edit activity button and you can make your adjustments. If you realize that what you did fits only the service criteria, you can make corrections. Or you may realize you had another learning outcome, which you can simply add. By saving the changes, the CAS activity is now updated. All right, happy skateboarding. Remember, if you aren't enjoying your CAS, you'd better change something.